I was just going over the list of what I need to get done this morning, and then I came out here to do it, and I can't do any of it. I need to weed whack and spray. I've got all kinds of uh, junk coming up everywhere. I got to spray glyphosate and 2,4-D down in the pasture there. None of it can be done. So, I'm going to change the oil on the farm all A. Stick around. <music> Farm all is way simpler than the Ferguson to change the oil. Real easy to get at. And it's so high off the ground because it's a row crop machine that my waste oil bucket will fit right under it. And the plug is just right there, right easy to get at. So much different than the Ferguson. And the oil filter is not inside of the oil pan. Yeah, that's pretty dark. Uh-oh. Stop. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Plug don't look all that hot either. Okay. I used to be positive that the fog on movies was fake because you could see it drifting by, especially on like the old Sherlock Holmes shows. But once we moved here, I saw it in real life. It does that here all the time, but we're up on a ridge, so we're basically in a cloud right now. I can't. Oh, that's the horse's carriage, you big dumb cat. Well, they'll find it. All right, back to tractor work. And now for the oil filter. This is a much better place for an oil filter than up underneath inside the oil pan on the Ferguson.
<laughs> I was expecting a fight. It's almost like this thing's all oiled up. Well, according to the owner's manual, there should have been a gasket in this slot here. And there's not, but it didn't leak. This has, this rim fits right in there. Oh, here's the gasket. It's dried. This hasn't been changed in a while. Well, it's lucky I'm doing it, but here's the thing. Here's the old filter, and here is the one that I got from Steiner, I believe, where I got everything else from. It looks like this um, bottom neck will fit in there just fine, and the hole should be fine for the the rod but it's what is that two-thirds the size of the one I pulled out I'm gonna put it in um, I'm not gonna wait around for that but I'm going to have to use this this number here and get it right from case you know case owns International Harvester now. Got a chicken getting all bitchy with me for working on my tractor. Get out of here. Get. Get. Go clean the pasture. Get. Get. Do your job.
that's that. The oil is changed on the Farmall A. It was pretty dirty. I still need to change the oil in the air cleaner and a bunch of other stuff, but that will do it. I'm supposed to run this check, but it takes, you know, it takes five quarts, so. There it is. So we have the minimum in there, but it's it's got plenty. So I got to throw this on a charger just in case because I'm going to be tightening up this alternator belt a little bit later today or tomorrow or whenever. But I got to make sure the battery is in good shape. And this alternator is twisted, so I'm going to see if I can do something about that as well. Hopefully I don't need a new alternator, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. That'll wrap it up for today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you're notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day.